Hello. I want to bring, especially all you Americans, a message of comfort and joy. Really, honestly. And I, I want you to, to take this to heart. And it was sparked by a comment I got under one of my videos from someone who said that she looks forward to my output despite the fact that I frequently deal with British issues, which are not that relevant to her. Now, oh, did I mention she was in America? Well, she was. <laughs> she is. Now, I have something to point out to both my British and Australian viewers and to my American ones. I'm going to tell you a story about a political development. And you judge, judge for yourself, OK? One day, not so long ago, a good-looking, sophisticated young metropolitan with a smart lawyer wife and a young family got voted into power. And he had a promise of a new, modern attitude, uh, giving to the people of that country a fresh vision of themselves and the sort of future that, well, TV shows like Star Trek promised us, in a way. A classless, meritocratic and tolerant society of people who didn't care uh, about skin colour or uh, ethnic identity or anything like that. And people who made peace with their past and were heading to a new role for the future. And all went well for a few minutes. Then it turned out that the handsome young metrosexual had a far left agenda, which he and his wife, oh, and I'm not uh, excluding the wife here, although it's sort of a side issue, but the wife kept breaking all the conventions uh, that had hitherto been observed by the wives of uh, other top men uh, by voicing political opinions inappropriate to her station and dissing her own country outright on some occasions. Uh, but as I said, that's a side issue. This handsome young go-ahead modern leader, once in power, tried to push through all sorts of unconstitutional um, legalities Frequently not by actually passing laws, but by subverting basic mechanisms of the legislative traditions or by uh, saying things that were taken by society at large to be important guidances in various ways. And all of this done with the active collusion of a besotted press. When the period of power ended, for the party this handsome young internationalist headed, there was a time of confusion before the party regrouped. And when it did come back, it was with none of the elegant prevarication of the previous head. It was just a naked, radical agenda. Now, who am I talking about? Am I talking about Obama, followed by Biden, or Blair, followed by Corbyn? Hmm? I saw an interview conducted by GB News with Andy No. Uh, he's the author of a study of Antifa, and as most of you will know, a victim of Antifa violence and uh, police, well, torpor. I suppose. And in that interview, no spoke about the radical agenda American Antifa were trying to import to the UK. Uh, he, he says he it's even to the apparently he's spending a lot of time in, in Britain now. And he says what they're trying to import is even borrowing the racial narrative from America, which is completely irrelevant here in the UK. But they're trying to bring it over anyway. I'm glad to say to a pretty wide extent it isn't working, but that doesn't mean to say it will never work. I, you know, you never can tell. In those words, your country is not immune to what's been happening in my country. 
And then he spoke about the Bristol riots. I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, to that interview in the description. He spoke about the Bristol riots, you know, the one where they dislodged a statue and threw it in the harbour. And he said he saw extremist literature, which he described as similar to jihadist leaflets, uh, talking about overthrowing the government, being passed round, uh, both in Britain and in uh, in the United States uh, when he was attending those mob events. But I have to remind you that while No is warning us that in Britain this stuff is coming over, that uh, stuff that's in Britain works the other way around. It goes back to America. Your country isn't immune to what's happening here. And remember what's happening here. We did Brexit. We rejected the Labour Party with its Marxist, radical and anti-Semitic agenda. We're still rejecting it, as can be seen by the disastrous Labour Party returns in the by-elections. Labour are still fighting their Marxist battle, but they aren't making much headway. And without being self-satisfied, because there really are some clouds on the horizon, we can say there's hope. There's hope for us here in Britain, and that means there's hope for you in America as well. As for Australia, well, look, there's always hope in Australia. That's what Australia is all about. And for the rest of us, all we have to do is keep a level head. Biden's incapacity is you know, it's it's getting noticed even by the media who've, who've been trying to cover up for it for so long. And Harris's inferior abilities are irritating more and more people. So, you know, once one brick goes, then the wall collapses. It just needs that brick to go. So don't despair. We did it. So can you. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.